teacher is in trouble with the law. He's accused of an inappropriate relationship with a student. This is News 6 at 6. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The Osceola County teacher is also accused of exposing himself in photos. This comes just months after Poinciana High School named 26-year-old Wayne Ricks as Teacher of the Year. News 6's Nadine Giannis is live in Poinciana. And Nadine, you spoke with students and parents today. What are they saying about this? Well, Lisa, school was getting out. One student stopped and yelled at me that Coach Ricks was the best. Another told me that he was like a father figure to so many here at Poinciana High School. But deputies say this 26-year-old teacher took his role too far and took one relationship with a student too far as well. This is a picture of 26-year-old Wayne Ricks posing as a teacher of the year last November. And this is a picture of him posing for a mugshot for having an inappropriate relationship with a student. According to deputies, he bought gifts and gave rides to a 17-year-old student who then told deputies it was during those rides he began to get physical, holding her hand and even kissing her at one point. Deputies say he even sent an explicit photo to her on Snapchat. It questions parents' trust in teachers here today. Today. It's kind of scary. Dad. Pushed me out as a dad. Yeah, I have three girls, so that pushed me out. And it's surprising for students. Um, he was a father figure to some people, even the basketball players. Like they were very close with him. You Did know. you feel like it ever crossed the line or made anyone feel uncomfortable? No, ma'am. Ricks even led Point Sienna's unified Special Olympics basketball team at a game hosted by the WWE during WrestleMania. Uh, making sure the school understands that, you know, everybody is the same. Everybody should be, be treated equal. It seems that like he was looked up to by a lot of people. And for him to exploit that, I mean, it's just as pickle as it is. Um, it, it's shameful. And we went by what we believe was Ricks's home today. But whoever opened the door closed it on us right away. And so Ricks is facing two felony counts of battery and transmission of harmful material to a minor. Now detectives say they're investigating if more victims are out there. We're going to hear what school officials told parents about the arrest in my story tonight at 7 o'clock. Till then, we're live in Osceola County. Nadine Giannis, News 6. Nadine, thank you.